guys, today I am finally filming my life update. I know I have been promising this video for months now, but I've been behind and I feel like my beauty videos are more important to get out than this one because I know more people are interested in my beauty videos. So for all of you that clicked on this video, thank you so, so much. I don't do very many vloggy things or personal things on my channel because I do like to keep it focused on beauty, but because I've been absent, because there have been so many changes, I wanted to let you guys know. So within the past couple months, I have had four big life changes. I quit my job. I moved to another state. I started grad school and I am getting married in two weeks. So I'm briefly going to discuss each of those topics. Please let me know if you guys would like a Q&A or a specific video on any of these things, or you can just ask me questions in the comment section and I will get back to you. But I thought I would update you on everything that's going on. So I quit my job May 31st. If you guys did not know where I was working, I was working at a residential program for young adults struggling with mental illness, and we were teaching them independent living skills so that they could be successful and functioning out in society. So I had worked at a program similar to that a little while ago, and then it shut down and it was bought out by this company. And I had been working there from middle of January to May 31st, and I was trying to hold out until I moved so I could save up more money, but I couldn't do it. I was so, so miserable and unhappy there that I dreaded every day going to work. I was sad all the time. I was mean. I was not myself and I just couldn't stand it any longer and it was not worth $12 an hour, let me tell you. And I don't want to get into all the reasons. I don't want to really be bashing the company, but I did not feel like I had any support, any direction. And the best way that I can describe how I felt while working there, especially in the last couple months, was a emotionally strung out. Honestly, I was crying all the time over absolutely nothing and my emotions were completely out of whack. Like I said, I was mean. I was sad. I didn't want to get out of my bed. It was a really, really terrible time for me and I feel so much better now that I have left that job. So my second big life change is that I moved out of state. I moved from West Virginia to Virginia, so not very far, which is perfectly okay with me. I'm actually only about an hour and a half away from my home, which is amazing. I love being away, but being still very close. What's even better is that I moved in with my fiance. We have been in a long distance relationship for five and a half years. So the fact that we are finally together has been amazing. And we moved here so I could go to school and he has a job about an hour away. Again, he is such an amazing person to be able to move here for me, driving an hour to work every single day. I am grateful for it always. So the move was actually really easy and I actually love the apartment complex that we live in. We pay $750 in rent a month, which I think is pretty good. We have two bedrooms, two baths, and it has a lot of space. The bedrooms are a little bit small, but we've been able to make it work with the way we have everything set up. I probably will do an apartment tour if you guys are interested, probably in a month or so. I'm gonna wait until after our wedding because we will be getting some more house things. So I'm super lucky that the moving process went really smoothly and we really love our place. So then two weeks after I moved, I started graduate school. I am at a university in Virginia and I am getting my master's of arts in counseling. So I do have a bachelor's in psychology. And the reason that I chose counseling is because out of the psychology area, I'm much more interested in therapy than I am research. So I figured, hmm, what is that basically equal? it equals counseling. And I have really enjoyed my program so far. So my program is only two days a week. I have school on Wednesdays and Thursdays from 8.30 in the morning till 3.10 p.m., which sounds like a really long time, and it is, but we do have like an hour, 20 minute lunch break in between classes. And even though I live about 20 minutes from school, I just stay there during the break just so I can chat with my classmates, catch up on homework, just relax. So I have really, really been enjoying it so far. I am in a class with about 18 people. We have all of our classes together 
together and we talk about like really deep personal stuff so not only are we learning about counseling we are really getting to know ourselves and we're sharing a lot which I thought would feel uncomfortable but it's been so easy and natural everybody in my class is great my teachers are amazing as well they are all about helping you learn and get the most out of this experience which is what I want one of the biggest difference for me from undergrad to graduate classes is that with my school in particular at least it's not just lecture we are actually participating in class one of my classes all we do is role plays which really terrifies me but it has been the best experience because it is pushing me out of my comfort zone and really making me work on things it's making me discover my strengths and my weaknesses and just actually putting strategies into play in terms of counseling and it has been really beneficial so for that class our big project is to interview an undergraduate student they're not real counseling sessions so we call them interviews I'm meeting with them four times throughout the semester and then I am meeting with a second year grad student and they are watching my tapes and they are giving me feedback and that has all been going really well so far I'm actually very very impressed and proud of myself with how well that I've done I've gotten feedback that I just seem really natural when talking with the student and that's what I want I want it to be laid back casual natural so people aren't so tense and so panicked and I'm really really happy it's been going well so far so as far as the amount of schoolwork is concerned I have a ton of reading and even though I do have an entire week before going back to my classes I definitely put it off until Monday or Tuesday which I know is terrible I need to stop doing but yeah I'm putting it off so that is not good but I do give myself all day after I finish filming to really sit there and work on my schoolwork so so far I've had a lot of reading but I have had a couple projects and it's really interesting the way that my school does grading they have an A track and a B track depending on how much time and effort you can commit to school and I think that's because a lot of people in the program not so much with my class but with other classes have jobs they have families and they just have a lot of other priorities they might not be able to designate as much time for school as some of us that don't have other things going on like myself so there are different requirements for assignments with the a track usually they will require a longer paper than with the b track and with some projects we had everybody had to do a poster board but just the a track how to write a paper so of course I've been doing the a track might as well I want to get as good of a grade as possible and I've only had one graded assignment come back to me so I'm not really sure how they grade but it's been awesome so far I don't have tests I think I have maybe two midterms which I'm really nervous about but I don't have tests which is great because I am not good at tests so I really like the way that my school runs their program I think it is fantastic I've really been enjoying it so far and I was terrified of this pressure that I was putting on myself for really really excelling I think I've done well so far but I was terrified that grad school was going to be like law school I thought it was gonna be absolutely ridiculous and most difficult thing ever and it hasn't been it's a lot of work but it isn't impossible so I really am happy with the way grad school has been going and then two months after I moved on October 15th I will be getting married I cannot believe it it is so crazy that the time is finally here like I remember when it was like 109 days away and like the time is now and I'm so so excited to be married so we are getting married in a beautiful place in Virginia and I am so excited it's gonna be a relatively small wedding we have a hundred guests which sounds like a lot but when you start picking people yeah it's, it's pretty small we got like 50 each and it is gonna be just a really nice ceremony a beautiful reception some music some food keeping it pretty casual but I'm really really excited it's gonna be crazy to be married and my name will not be Heather Reed anymore my name will be Heather Hayden like that's so crazy that Reed is not going to be my name anymore. I feel like that's going to be the biggest change for me. And to say husband instead of fiance, I'm really excited. And it's just super weird in a good way just because it's different and I do plan on doing a video or two or three on my wedding I will give you like all the details for venue dress I am gonna be doing my own makeup for the wedding so I will have a video showing you guys my wedding makeup and let me know what you would like to see in those couple wedding videos I don't want to do too many in case you guys aren't interested but I do want to give you some good information maybe some helpful hints let you know how I 
I bargained because you guys know I'm a cheapo. So guys, that is my life update. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know in the comment section or if you would like a Q&A, if you guys would be interested in seeing wedding videos for me, an apartment tour, let me know. I like to keep my channel very beauty focused, but because I do talk with you guys so much in the comments, on Snapchat, on Instagram, I feel like I have gotten to know you guys a little bit. You've gotten to know me, so I want to share this with you because, like I said, these were four big life changes for me that happened all at once and somehow everything has worked out perfectly and that's totally thanks to God. It is definitely not thanks to me that all these things have worked out so well. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.